the integral of the square root of x squared plus a squared dx. So we're trying to solve one of the three forms of trigonometric substitution, and we're solving this one here. So as you can see, x will be equal to a times 10. And what is the derivative? It's going to be a times the derivative of 10, which is secant squared. So dx will be a times secant squared times d theta. This gives us the integral of x squared, and x is a times 10. So x squared will be a squared times tan squared, and then plus a squared, dx. And we will convert dx in a moment, but let's factor out the a squared. So we get the integral of the square root of a squared times tan squared plus 1 dx. Since tan squared plus 1 is equal to secant squared, we can change this right here. So what is the square root of a squared secant squared? It's just going to be a times secant. And dx is this right here. So times a times secant squared times d theta, which is a to the power of 2 times secant to the power of 3. And since a squared is only a constant, we can move it outside of the integral. So we have a squared times the integral of secant to the power of 3 d theta. So in another video, we already solved the integral of secant to the power of 3, and it is this one. We have a squared times 1 over 2 times secant times tan plus the ln of absolute value of secant plus tan plus c. So let's multiply this with this and this with this. And actually, I'll just change this into a squared over 2. We get a squared over 2 times secant tan plus a squared over 2 times the ln of secant plus tan. Remember at the beginning we said that x is equal to a times tan, so this will be useful at this step. So if x is equal to a times tan, then tan is going to be x over a. Using the Sokatoa rule, tan is opposite over adjacent. So the opposite is x, and the adjacent is a. We need to solve for the hypotenuse. If you remember the Pythagorean theorem, we have, let's say, let's call this side c. So x squared plus a squared is equal to c squared and c will be equal to the square root of x squared plus a squared. And notice that we're not putting the plus and minus sign in front because the length of a triangle or the side of the triangle is always a positive number. It cannot be a negative number. So that's why we're using the positive. So we know what tan is. Tan is just x over a. But how about secant? So secant it's just 1 over cosine. And cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's equal to 1 over the adjacent side over hypotenuse, which is the same as hypotenuse over adjacent side. And the hypotenuse is the square root of x squared plus a squared. And the adjacent side is just a. We're close to finishing, so we have a squared over 2 times secant, and secant is the square root of x squared plus a squared over a times tan, and tan is just x over a. And plus a squared over 2 times the ln of secant, and secant again is x squared plus a squared over a plus tan, and tan is x over a plus c. The a square here will cancel out with the two a's in the denominator, and we get x times x squared plus a squared over 2 plus a squared over 2 times the ln of 
the square root of x squared plus a squared over a plus x over a plus c. And this here is our answer.